Hello and welcome to the first of hopefully many GolfPredictor.com video tutorials. My name is Aidan Riley and I am the founder, developer and maintainer of Golf Predictor. Hopefully at the end of all these tutorials you will be able to use the site to make good fantasy golf, DFS golf and betting picks. Ok so let's get started. You can either log in or register for Golf Predictor in the top right corner. In either case you will be brought to the Golf Predictor member home page. On this page, which is basically a welcome page to the site, you can get some basic instructions. You can see a renewal date and at the bottom you can see the latest Golf Predictor tweets. I highly recommend that you follow the Golf Predictor Twitter account because here I tweet a lot about the latest updates or enhancements to Golf Predictor, any problems or issues that may be on the site and also about the world of golf in general. Okay. So in this first tutorial, I'm going to talk about the Golf Predictor menus. And you can see them there on the top of the screen on the green bar. Okay, so you have first you have the predictions menu, you have the form menu, and so on, all the way over to my GP. In, in future tutorials, I hope to go into each of these menu items in more detail. But for now, I'm going to give a brief overview. So we'll start with the first and most important menu, the predictions menu. You might gather from the title of this website, golfpredictor.com, that the predictions menu would be important. And you'd be right. So clicking on uh, the arrow there, you see the different options you have. There are a variety of ranking options, a variety of compare options, and then there's a field ranking and a GP performance option as well. But the ranking pages are among the most important on the site, and these hold the list of uh, predictions or the list of statistics for the entire field uh, for the each tournament and you will be seeing this in due course. In the odds and DFS versions of these pages are similar to the uh, ranking pages except they've got uh, additional information about bookie odds and uh, DraftKings. The custom page allows you to apply your own weightings to the different metrics so that you can produce your own list of likely performers. The field ranking page allows you to rank the field by different metrics such as who's the best course record and so on. The compare sections allow you to compare up to 10 golfers in the case of the compare predictions page or for the three golfers in each of the tee-off groups in the TG version of the page. Finally in this menu you also have the GP performance page which allows you to compare the performance of the GP engine by looking at our predicted rank for each golfer in a complete tournament with their actual finishing position. Okay so the next menu then is the form menu and on this menu you can see the same prediction stats that you can see in the previous menu but they're diced off in different ways. On this menu we're concerned with different form elements such as how the golfers have done on the same course and how they've done on, the pre on their previous five tournaments. Now on all these pages here you can see uh, columns such as uh, the most top tens, the most wins, uh, the least cuts missed and so on and you can fully sort on those columns. Now there are also other options on this page such as the form golfers which compares the recent form of each golfer with their season long form and allowing you to see who's beginning to bubble and who's going off the boil. There are also more advanced options on this menu such as the field rankings form uh, option, the uh, season segment data and the performance analysis, analysis pages. Now these three more advanced options will be covered in their own tutorials so please stay tuned for those. Finally on this page you can also compare the form uh, for up to 10 golfers or for each golfer in a tee-off group and you can uh, see some round related stats also for the field. So that rounds off a brief overview of the form menu. The next menu then is the information menu and this contains a lot of statistics and information on the various courses used in the tournaments in the database, the various tournaments themselves and those golfers who played in them. Also in this menu you can access a Google map showing all the tournaments for a given season on a given tour which is quite interesting and you can also see an embedded page of an external site showing uh, the best odds for all the golfers in the upcoming tournaments. 
The next menu then is the results menu and this menu allows you to see all the results on the US PGA Tour and the European Tour since 2002 all diced up in different ways. The first option there is the traditional view where you can see all the results by tournament. You can also pick an individual player and look at all his results since 2002. You can also look by position. So for example, if you wanted to see who finished 15th in the 2015 Masters, that page allows you to do it very easily. On the position all page, it's similar to above, but if for example you wanted to see who finished 15th in every event in 2015 so far, then you can do it easily on that page. The round rank page allows you to see the position of every golfer in the tournament after every round, which is quite uh, illuminating. And finally, the player history page is very useful for fantasy golfers who have to pick golfers for an entire season ahead of time. On this page, you can see for your chosen golfer his performance in the last 10 runnings of each tournament in the season at a glance. A very useful page for fantasy purposes. Okay, so the last stats based menu then is out of stats, which holds some miscellaneous stats that didn't fit nicely into any other menu. For example, there are a few pages there showing uh, winner information on the given tour in the given season. You can see a list of the winners. You can see how each winner performed in their previous 10 events. So that's very useful for spotting trends. You can also see the position of each of the winners in their tournament after every round, which can be illuminating also. We also have some uh, advanced tournament stats available from this menu. And finally, we have some season stats. Uh, on Golf Predictor, after every completed GP season, which means uh, now after uh, December basically, uh, the uh, season results for each golfer who has played at least five events in the season just finished uh, are analyzed and ranked. So I can see some interesting season long trends forming there. The last two menu items then are the uh, search, which brings you to the search page where you can search for tournaments and courses and golfers and finally the my uh, gp menu which allows you to set some basic settings on your profile change your gp password access the gp blog uh, which you should do on a regular basis to see uh, more detailed information about new uh, golf predictor features and so on and the all important subscribe page which allows you to subscribe to get the uh, full power of golf predictor also here you can log out on this GP page, which you can also do on the more accessible outside menu up here in the top right corner. Okay, that about does it for the first tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and please tune in for more later.